Imagine what it must be like to face each day with chronic pain, weakness, trouble keeping your balance, or even vision problems. What if you also had trouble communicating with others, maintaining attention, getting dressed, or preparing a basic meal? This is what life can be like after having a stroke. In the United States, stroke is the third leading cause of death, and for those 795,000 people nationwide who suffer and survive a debilitating stroke each year, there are not enough treatments and resources to get them back to the level of function they had prior to their stroke. In South Carolina, the buckle of the nation's stroke belt, the situation is even worse. With a disproportionate share of stroke cases occurring in our state, due in large part to a variety of health disparities amongst our population. Enter the Medical University of South Carolina's new Stroke Center, recently begun and coordinated with acting MUSC research centers to improve the recovery and long-term quality of life for those who have suffered a stroke. Known as the Stroke Recovery Research Center, this newest center was established through a $10.8 million NIH Center of Biomedical Research Excellence, or COBRE grant, to mentor junior scientists who hold the keys to future breakthroughs, develop core resources that empower researchers to easily tap into multiple disciplines and thus accelerate research from the lab to the patient, and find solutions for stroke recovery that integrate the best and most innovative ideas. The center brings together four components, known as cores, to maximize the ability of each area to contribute what is learned in the lab and then transform that discovery into patient care. The Quantitative Behavioral Assessment and Rehabilitation Core, referred to as QBAR, works on developing novel methodologies, meaning that researchers develop critical standards and measurements of behavior and function for stroke and healthy patients. These scientists use high-tech equipment to record aspects of motion along with muscle and nervous system health. The Brain Stimulation Core deals in electricity taking advantage of pioneering work done at MUSC so researchers can develop unique tools and methods that measure brain function. The scientists in this core focus on how to get the brain to change, to reverse, or otherwise treat damage caused by stroke. In the third core, neuroimaging, scientists, and physicists leverage resources from the MUSC Center for Biomedical Imaging to create and show through sophisticated imaging techniques how current and new treatments are affecting the brain. This gives researchers an opportunity to fine-tune new ideas as they develop and increase the likelihood that patients will have better responses to traditional and developing treatments. Finally, the Clinical and Translational Tools and Resources Core, or CTTR, harnesses the power of biomedical informatics and biostatistics. The researchers in this core maintain the Stroke Clinical Registry Database, creating a powerful tool and informational clearinghouse for researchers. With all four cores working together, patients who have struggled with achieving their preferred quality of life after a stroke now have a new center dedicated to finding ways to make current therapies work better, bring new discoveries to them faster, and collaborating across traditional lines to change what is possible for their care.